Hello, Bertram. Back Hi. again. Uh, would you explain us how the EDN has started? Well, uh, it was um, 2002 when Secret Garage from Vienna, she just started um, a dance place in uh, Vienna, wrote to John Ashford uh, about the idea to make an EU application. John Art, uh, answered about uh, a dance house with two words, dance house, and made the first some kind of a definition what it would be, a public space, an ongoing program, etc. Two, two years later, we met, 2004, we met uh, with some people with Secret Guy Rice, John Ashford, myself, um, and Claire Verlet, and Britt Rowe, five it was, from Tallinn, to discuss and found an uh, application which was called ID uh, for EU funding for dance in Europe. For this uh, application we needed some kind of a network and I had the honor to write the profile of this network first for the EU application. The purpose was at that time just to have some kind of a communication network. We choose other partners. Finally, uh, Karen Lingholm came, uh, uh, joined us and, uh, and others, and we made an EU application. This uh, ran for four years, and during this time, we run this EU, EU project, IDE, we identified more and more through experience with us that we had a lot of in common, like promoting fine artists, con contemporary artists, pro ongoing program, that the director was not choreographer themselves to use all the money and the space for themselves, but international exchange and promoting local um, uh, our audience and, uh, and artists. And so from that, a, a profile developed what a dance house as one word, like opera house, schauspielhaus, became one word. So this developed further, and we were an informal network where Karen Lingholm became our chair, informal chair, to coordinate this. At the end of this EU project, we had the problem, how do we continue? Can we survive? Um, and uh, ED, the EDN uh, network, uh, became an independent, from the project, independent uh, organization. And um, during the project, uh, Chess Casadesus, the new director of um, uh, Mercat, uh, joined us with a lot of energy and idea, and he said, I am uh, taking the responsibility in Barcelona uh, to make a European legal European organization in Barcelona. That means it's legal in all countries of Europe. Uh, I was chosen to be the first president of this legal uh, organization and I developed it further uh, uh, to, uh, to a level where now uh, we are um, an acknowledged uh, and very uh, effective uh, label with uh, more than 20 partners in Europe um, uh, able to apply for other funding in Europe because there is no funding uh, for international co uh, collaboration because a local theatre, a local state, a city would not just fund a project in collaboration with uh, other countries. So this idea of supporting freelancer, not the state theatre, not the state flag, but to lock the move movable dance dancers uh, who move cross borders um, and invent new formats of collaboration. This was a format was done by the dance house and we need the collaboration. And the spirit of sharing, talking about artists, about our needs, about our ideas, this made the heart of the dance house uh, network. And uh, now it's going to develop further um, uh, in the future. Okay, thank you. And what do you think? is the contribution of the EU in the development of a dance house? Well, um, uh, 
exactly historically um, the dance house as a label were created in connection with the EU project. The project was called IDE and uh, for, at the beginning we just came together with some identity. We had all different names, um, uh, the place, um, uh, Merkat, uh, uh, the dance house in Düsseldorf um, uh, and uh, the CND in, in Paris. Um, uh, but we found out that we share something in common. Um, and um, finally, through the application, which we had to describe what we are in common and what, how we call each other, we created the work Dance House uh, as a, a profile, a new profile uh, of um, dedicating uh, international exchange promoting artists local and international local, building up new communities for dance, building new dance houses as buildings, uh, supporting other initiatives in different parts of the world uh, to promote a dance house. So within the EU funding, we were able to get organized and we were able uh, to create this identity through communication within uh, EU pro uh, projects. So in a way, uh, the EU was uh, 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 important, let's say, an uncle or almost a father to, to, to support this development, which would not happen, I think, in this way without this uh, support and the, the cooperation. The EU and the dancer has an interest in common. Dancers are movable. They want to communicate across borders. They want to change, exchange different aesthetics in different countries. They want to co collaborate. And the EU at that time wanted this too, because that we accepting, respecting the difference of all of us. But because of this, we want to cooperate and we want to create new aesthetics.